Okay, so here we're looking at percentage yield. Percentage yield is a way to look at how efficient a reaction is at producing what you need from your starting materials. You can't work it out from just looking at an equation. There has to be a reaction done. Okay? Once we've done that reaction, we see if we've produced as much product as we expect we should have, based on how much we starting materials we had in the beginning. The basic equation is the actual yield divided by the theoretical yield. So the actual yield is how much is actually made in an experiment. The theoretical yield is how much we, in theory, we could have made if the percentage yield was 100%, is if all the starting material got converted into the product that we wanted. Okay? So what I'm going to look at then is how we can work out actual yield and theoretical yield to use this equation. So if we have a look at an example, here we've got cyclohexene and we're producing cyclohexanol. Okay? And what this is saying here is that if we start off with 5 grams of cyclohexene, they do the experiment and they produce 2.5 grams of cyclohexanol. Okay? Now what you can't do is just do 2.5 divided by 5 because the molecular masses of these two are different. So the first step to work out these two here really is to convert your masses into moles. So if we start off with the theoretical yield. We've got to look at the equation and see what the ratio of the starting material that they told us about is to the product that we want. There's only one product here. For every one of these, we produce one of these. The ratio in the equation is one to one for starting material to product. Okay? So, what we want to do first off then is turn that grams, that mass, into moles. So, we take the mass, five grams, and we divide it by the molar mass of cyclohexene. So, that's six carbons, so six times 12, plus two, four, six, sorry, two, four, six, eight, ten. So that gives us 82. Okay, so 5 divided by 82, and then the two significant figures, that's the moles of cyclohexene. And because it's one to one, that would be the expected moles of product. So if this was, was a very efficient, 100% efficient reaction, we should get 0 0.061 moles of this. Okay, so that's our theoretical yield. In theory, that's how many moles we should produce. So what we look at now then is how many moles were actually produced. So the actual yield was 2.5 grams in mass. Let's convert that into moles so we can compare it with our theoretical yield. So we do 2.5 divided by 100 as the molar mass of cyclohexanol is 100. Okay, and that gives us 0 0.025 moles. So you can see already that's a lot less than the expected 0.061 moles. Okay, now we've got both our actual and theoretical yields in moles, we can put them back into the original equation. So the original equation, actual over theoretical times by 100, that's our actual 0 0.025 divided by the theoretical 0 0.061 times by 100 and to two significant figures, that's 41%. So you can see that our reaction here is not very efficient. Only 41% of the starting material is getting converted into products. So if you're running this as a business, you might want to look at improving the processes in the reaction.